In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Arr! Pirate Chris here. Got my bandana on, which makes me a pirate. Oh, and the earrings, which makes me always a pirate. Uh, and the tattoos, but I don't know if they had tattoos. I'm sure they did. Any regard, Pirate Chris here on the roof of our RV. As you can tell, it is not clean. It looks kind of patched up. Some new stuff, some old stuff. Today, I am going to make everything new. And I am going to be doing that using a silicon roof sealant, which is Henry's. And it is a beautiful day here. I think the leaves are mostly fallen, the pollen is mostly fallen, and it is not breezy so more stuff won't fly everywhere. The sun is out, so that means everything's gonna dry quick. There's a train going by, which is just par for the course. The neighbors are sawing. Huck is barking, but you know, that's how it goes when you're trying to make a professional video for people to learn how to do important stuff for their RVs. Any regard, sarcasm aside, today will hopefully be a relatively quick day um, of putting this Henry's Tropical down. There's a couple reasons we're doing Henry's Tropical and not something else. First, it goes with the EPDM roof that we have. So if you have EPDM or even TPO uh, rubber roof, uh, this stuff works with it, which is great. Uh, the second reason is because it does a phenomenal job with beating water, moving water off the roof. Another reason why is it's incredibly affordable. This is the ultimate reason. We're not gonna have to worry about our roof for a very, very long time. Not as long as we own the RV. Of course, we'll maintain it and we'll look out for problems, but what we're gonna do today should set us up for many years to come. This stuff is great because you can apply it in a wide range of temperatures, not below freezing, but just above freezing, all the way up to around 120 degrees. So most places in the United States and North America, you're, you're gonna be able to apply this any day of the year, which is fantastic. Um, it also will be ready. It's rain resistant within an hour. So if you're in a place like we're in Florida, rain can pop up. As long as you apply it and are done with it within an hour, then the rain will not penetrate the roof. It's also a really awesome application for your RV because the white, which is what you would want to put on here, is a, a incredible reflector, 90% reflectivity of the sun, which means your RV is going to be cooler. Um, and that's an important thing for a lot of reasons, particularly if you enjoy boondocking and you wanna just you know, rely on fans and not running air condition and so forth. So this stuff is going to reflect a lot of sunlight, which is going to reduce the amount of heat that is absorbed by the RV itself. And that's another great reason to use this stuff. So working with Henry Tropical roof coating, um, it, it is silicone. So you're marrying Henry at this point. Uh, it sounds a little strange, but what that means is that you can't put anything on top of the silicone that is not silicone. So if you're going to do any kind of repairs, you want to do that first. You're going to want to put any vent covers in, you're going to want to do any patchwork, whatever you need to do to your roof uh, maintenance wise, go ahead and do that before you apply this. Because once you apply it, you're going to want to use silicone for the rest of the history of your roof or the rest of the future of your roof. It's supposed to cover around 65 feet per gallon, 65 square feet. So we've got an eight foot roof by about 28, call it 30. Um, it's not quite 30 feet, but if we call it 30 feet by eight, that's 240 uh, square feet. And that includes the vent covers, which you can paint over if you wanted to, um, but the vent holes and all that. So I'm including that square footage. So 240 square feet divided by, we'll call it 60, square feet per gallon means I should use about four gallons of this stuff. We already patched up the sides and any holes that we had, any soft areas, we used Eternabon tape. We put this Eternabon tape around all of the covers, the vent covers. Um, we had also used Dicor lap sealant when I replaced a vent fan, two vent fans actually, our refrigerator vent 
and um, some vent covers, our uh, shower uh, skylight. So we use a Dicor lap sealant, we put the Eternabond over there. We also took it another step and we put Eternabond around the side edges of the RV. And that for us was good because the rubber was starting to peel up in places. And with EPDM in particular, it's supposed to stretch and move. And it pretty much stretched and moved to its max. So now it was actually kind of crumbling apart and uh, creating some holes in some places. So we went ahead and taped around the edge, which is redundant to what we're gonna be doing today with the Henry's Tropical. So after we did that, I came up here and lightly pressure washed. So I got rid of all the mildew and all the, the junk buildup that had been accumulating for the last couple months as we're parked in Florida, where it's already hot and humid and that stuff likes to grow. And we've been under some trees which has made it even more difficult to keep up with the roof. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the vent covers that I just installed, which is a giant kick in the jimmy. We're then gonna go back and make sure we're gonna use a, a blower, a leaf blower, and blow off every last bit of debris. Use a broom, get around the crevices, make sure it's all clean as much as it possibly can be before we actually start to apply Henry's Tropical. And this is just like painting um, a normal house we're basically trimming all the hard stuff first and then we're going to come back over with the roller and then we're going to be rolling the main areas and the rolling shouldn't take very much time at all. So that's essentially the process and then of course the drying, the curing will take an hour before the rain and we'll, we won't walk on it at that point and it takes between 24 to 48 hours to be fully cured. So the tools are pretty straightforward. Nice simple brush, $4.00. We have this in case we need it in small areas, um, but I'm not anticipating that we're gonna need to use it. Of course, you're gonna wanna have the roller and have it attached to an extension and the tropical itself. Throw in whatever tools you need to take off the roof fence and of course a blower or a broom or both and that should be it. And so we're going to go ahead and get started on this right now.
I have outlined everything on the edge of the RV, all of the appliances, the vent covers, and all that. It's taken a while. This stuff is goopy, it is thick, which is great. Um, as I'm laying it in there, I can just picture how it's going to, uh, to dry and be a nice solid coat. It's bright white, which um, is reflecting a lot of light right now. Sun's coming out, it's hot. It is outlined and I'm about to get the roller out. This stuff is drying in the bucket pretty quickly, so I'm constantly moving and stirring and keeping it, uh, keeping it fresh. And essentially what I've done is I've just basically painted over every place that we had already put Eternabond. And in doing that, we have that triple seal, the die core underneath the Eternabond, the Eternabond tape, and now this uh, Henry's Tropical roof sealant. So all the talking aside, I'm gonna get out the roller and I'm going to start rolling this and hopefully that will go pretty quick. But this stuff rolls on really, really easily. I'm glooping it up, I'm making it as thick as I can. One coat should work if I do that right, um, but there's gonna be some left over, so I may go back and do a second coat at some point, or a partial second coat if there's anywhere that looks kind of thin. So it looks like, looks like a whole new roof, which is why we're doing this. I got the back to do. And I think this is gonna be my last spot right here and I'm gonna jump off of there onto the roof, I think. Everything is all gooped up. It looks great. I think it's gonna function great. Gotta let it dry. So no rain for an hour, No, that's fine. No rain for a day here. But I don't know how long it's gonna to take to dry dry. In the Florida sun, hopefully we get a little bit more full sun on it and it'll dry today. And maybe I can do some touch-ups before the rain tomorrow. Um, but it looks fantastic. I'm pleased. It was, <clears throat> it was a lot easier to apply than I was expecting when I first opened it up and it was thick and goopy, but it stuck on that half inch roller and it went on really thick and really well. I did goop it on, took my time rolling it. I didn't try to roll really, really thin. I wanted it to be nice and thick. Trying to do just one coat, which is probably how I should have left it. But I do have enough paint. I probably got about two, two and a half gallons, which is about half of the five gallon container. And I do have that much left. So definitely I can go back over it with another coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it my day, actually my half day. I'm gonna come back out and um, clean off the side of the RV that did not get washed the last time. Um, and uh, yeah, life goes on. Thanks for being a part of this journey. We will give you an update on how well Henry's Tropical works several months down the road, but we're confident this is a great decision for us for $300 to 
save our roof and save all the anxiety and worry that we would have that we would have any issue with our roof in the future. So this should be awesome. Okay, two things. First, I'm not really a pirate. Doesn't matter about the bandana because I don't even think pirates wore bandanas. Um, I don't think, I don't know. Do pirates wear bandanas? <clears throat> I don't know. Um, so I'm not a pirate. That's the first thing. The second thing is it's too early in the day to call it quits. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, but we're inspired to finish up a lot of things with this camper so we can get on the road. And uh, since today's an outside day, Lindsay reminded me, we just bought this new vinyl trim. This is the old stuff here. It's nasty. Tried pressure washing it, tried cleaning it with vinegar, tried cleaning it with bleach, and it doesn't want to clean. So we found a really good deal on it and we're gonna put the new stuff in. So we're gonna unscrew the old uh, ends over here and then wrap the new stuff around. And this, what it does is it protects the screws underneath here. So there are screws that hold this compartment in place um, or the, the trim around the compartment. And like anything with an RV, anytime there's a hole going into the RV, you wanna make sure to seal it. So if it's on the roof, obviously that's where we use the Dicor, the Eternabond, and now we're using the, um, the roof sealant, Henry's roof, Tropical Roof Sealant. So that prevents water from getting down that way. But anytime you have a hole going sideways, you also wanna make sure you're sealing it. So here with these, if you recall, we put some butyl tape behind there and that squeezed out, it's like Play-Doh, and that created a seal. Here, rather than putting silicone all around here or another sealant, we're just gonna put the vinyl strip. It looks nice, it's easy to replace, relatively easy to replace, relatively cheap, and so that's why these compartments are set up that way. So first thing we're gonna do is get a Phillips head bit, put it on the drill gun, and go ahead and pull out all the old vinyl, and then we'll put new vinyl in and we'll cut it to size and we'll screw it into place and we'll be done. I think after this, we'll call it a day because I'm already exhausted being up in the sun, um, but stuff to do, we got stuff to do. All right, all right, there's a pirate in me. All right. Yeah, you know, Slash always had a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. He's up there ripping on guitar, the long hair, you know. You have a cigarette in your mouth like he's in his own zone. Mm -hmm. Just me and the screws. <laughs> Just don't chew on him. You know, I forget it's there, so it's a real possibility I can swallow it. If I do that, maybe I could be on one of those shows like America's Got Talent. Maybe I could like sneeze it out of my nose. No, <laughs> no one a, wants to see that. That would be amazing. I don't want to see the stuff that they do on that show. <laughs> but if I could swallow a nail and sneeze it out my nose. <laughs> I feel like there's some money in that. Yeah, you know. Since I'm not going anywhere. How many a, times can you make that entertaining? I'm not going anywhere as a pirate. You're I, a cute pirate. I just had the sad reality. I confessed on camera I'm not a pirate, even though I wear a bandana and I have earrings and tattoos. You know why I'm not a pirate? Why? Because I don't have a boat. Mm -hmm. I used I, to have a boat. I know, so I traded in my pirate card for a uh, old man card. Yeah. Driving around an RV. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Final update for the day. The roof is dried and it's awesome. It looks great. It's got a nice, smooth, rubbery, silicone y feel is awesome. We do have some debris that's fallen, but it is what it is. It will forever be a part of our life in this RV. Lindsay and I went ahead and we put all the vinyl strips around. Yeah, I think tomorrow I'm gonna come back up, maybe put a light second coat on, um, nothing crazy, but anywhere it looks like it's a little thin on the roof or the places that I know were um, where there was some puddling and pooling and where it was a little soft. Um, I made it go ahead and do that. And around the appliances, of course. But I feel really confident that Henry's Tropicool, Henry Tropicool uh, roof sealant is gonna do the trick for us. Already um, not worrying as much at all about any rain, any, any kind of issues. I'm a mess. Bonus footage. Me.
Don't film me. I just told Chris that, hey, I wasn't even in that episode. Neither was Huckleberry. So, I oh. oh, no, maybe I was because you did film me doing it, but who knows yeah. if that's going to be. Who knows cool. if that makes a cut. Yeah. And Everest, welcome to this episode. <laughs> Buddy, we got a hundred names for you. Buddy. Buddy. Little buddy, little black bear. He stands up like that. Look at that. He's a little black bear. <laughs> and now it is the end of the episode. Bye.